Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. As a special gift to every viewer on YouTube, there is a link in the description to apply for a free breakthrough trading strategy session with myself. What does that mean? Alex created a free trading course for beginners and at the end of it, we will be selecting a few non-members to get on the phone with myself, Tosh, T Bradley 90 to help with your trading. Click the link in the bio, watch the video and apply today. Now, while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become a member of MIC. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video here. Hope you guys are having a nice week. Um, going to be doing this one kind of middle of the week. I'm going to be out on the weekend. So if I miss something that moves, uh, you know, Thursday or Friday, um, you know, I apologize in advance, but. Just a few names that moved uh, after Labor Day weekend this week, or just had some news I thought was interesting that uh, could share and maybe learn a little bit about. Um, this one was actually a little bit older, SLDB, um, larger company. Uh, if I pull up a chart here, you can see that uh, it's, you know this thing was back in the 30s. Has had a nice little move here, but they did a private placement back here for uh, $60 million, and I think has run really nicely since. Um, yeah, I think, in my opinion, uh, of course, which is just, uh, you know, this is not investment advice on my behalf or uh, MIC's guys, as you guys probably know. Um, pipes, you know, a lot of times they have to hold them for at least a month. Um, generally, you get a few holders um, that are, you know, um, more longer term. So it's a little bit better incentivized, in my opinion, than, uh, you know, some of these other offerings, uh, ATMs, convertibles, obviously, so on and so forth. Um, so you can see, uh, let me bring up the 6K or 8K here. 60 million in a pipe. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up on the 3rd here of September, they have this S3, and basically it's just uh, registering these uh, shares. Um, you can see that you can kind of come down and look at it, the selling stockholders. So, again, this is 60 million dollars, so they're probably not going to dump this all at once or twice. Again, generally a little bit more longer term players do these uh, larger pipes. Um, once this gets effect, uh, I don't know if it does or not, was uh, SWAV. Um, basically I kind of got to look at the chart and I was like, wow, this thing is exactly like 180 days. Um, and actually if you come, there's a website here, SEC lockup, you can actually, uh, see the, you know, which stocks are locked up for the week are going to be uh, lock up, lock up expiring. Um, so on the third was when the PR came. So after the third is when they can start selling. Um, you know, this thing was open, I think around 44 in pre-market. Uh, you can see that, um, you know, it barely even held any gains here. What else was on there? Uh, I guess I can take a look at Soli. So Soli from last week, like I mentioned, I think around 12 or 13. Yeah, so it's still holding up pretty well. Um, has obviously had a little bit bigger move than SWAT, SWAV. Uh, OPGN was definitely an interesting one. A little bit low float, uh, recent reverse split. Um, you know, I was kind of coming in here. Um, this is one of those that's a nano float and you know, I think there's under a million in the floats. Um, very low on cash. So you can see as of July 1st, there's $3 million. Um, you know, losing about $800,000, $850,000 a month, which would put them, you know, under about, you know, right around two months of cash. But, uh, you know, this thing ran from, what, five to, I think, 14, 13 or something like that. So kind of hard just to short it on the notion that they're going to carry, you know, offer some paper. Uh, the news was that they came out this, uh, you know, this agreement. Um, what I thought was interesting too, um, so they're actually, um, I think they're buying, yeah, they're buying the uh, other company and they're going to give them uh, convertible shares. Um, H.C. Wainwright's kind of helping with the uh, business combination, of course. But yeah, you can see here that they're, uh, this Curatus is uh, entitled to 2.6 million shares of uh, convertible now, which is basically how they're going to pay for the uh, um, combination of businesses. So if you come over here and click on a couple of these uh, side, uh, these are basically um, filings that are kind of associated with these. Let me see, Hold, hang on here with me guys and gals. Um, let me show you now, I think it was the S1. Yeah, so actually if you come down here to page 49, um, it actually mentions that they're going to uh, probably uh, register an S1. Um, to try to raise up to $10 million. Um, pretty, you know, it's a little bit larger of a company. Uh, the last offering they did was pretty toxic. 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.